look at these guys with bad breath. I'm just gonna rename this pole the Pole of Stink. <laughs> All right, guys, batten down the hatches because we are in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and we are going into this Spirit Halloween that used to be a Lifeway Christian store. If you look at that sign right up there, you can even make out all the letters of Lifeway across the whole sign. All right, let's do it. Let's go in and see what Baton Rouge has to offer. Why is that door always locked? Look at this, guys. Right up front, we have the straw man. If you guys haven't watched it yet, go through and watch my shorts. I made one of the straw man break dancing. Look at his moves. I love it. With the dead leaves all around us, and the darkness wraps around us like a mildewing blanket. Oh, look at this, guys. We have Monty set up right here, too. His eyes always blink. He's gotta be the most glitchy animatronic I have seen, like, ever. Come on, Monty. Come on now, Monty, come on. Yeah. I don't know what happens with him, but he seems to be the one who always goes first in these stores. Holy crap, guys, look what we have here. We actually have a wacky mole. This is the only place I've seen a wacky mole set up. Come on, wacky, please work. Come on, wacky, come on. What in the heck? He's not working. Well, Where? Here, yes, I am. Oh, Two hundred and twenty thousand. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's try that again. Because as soon as I started talking to this kid who walked by, he started talking. What the heck is going on with you, Wacky? Come on now. I know you work. He's tricking us. This is no fun. What the heck, he is a total trickster. You guys heard him a minute ago, he was working. All right, I'm just gonna have to keep my ears on and when I hear him, I'll come running over here and we'll see him in action. He actually looks a lot smaller than I remember him. But the candy corn teeth and the mole are the same. All right, let's come over here and say hello to Grim. Hello to Grim. There we go, he's working. All right. I think I need to make a breakdancing video of him, too, because I love his electric movements, his electric boogaloo movements. Look at this, guys. We have two deadly creepers here. And then I saw over here we have a Mr. Punchy on the floor. It kind of surprises me that they have Mr. Punchy set out here for sale and not set up in place of Wacky Mole. However, I am so happy that they have Wacky Mole set up. Here he goes. I told you he was working. Look at those yellow spiral eyes. He's not moving, but that's okay. At least we got him to turn on and we got to hear what he had to say for a moment. Wait a minute, guys, before we even go any farther, look at what they have. They have the foam Stay Puffed. Stay Puffed does not have a butt. <laughs> we have creeping cats here and we have angry zombie babies. All right, let's look at the creepy dolls before we move around the rest of the store here, guys. We have a creepy baby doll here with the cracked face. We have an eerie Emma. We have a Rosalie and a decrepit Donna. Hello, rat. We have a Hugs down here. We have Pumpkin Nester, and we have a vintage Wolfman. Ooh, and we have both the Crouchy and the Skelly plush, as well as Sam, both with the burlap head and the spooky pumpkin head. All right, let's go around the store here a little bit before we look at any of the other small things. I just want to see if they have any more animatronics set up anywhere or for sale. They do have the stack of jumping spiders as usual, and they have two nozzles, the clowns here. All right, let's keep on moving around here, see what else we can find. Okay, we are back around to the front, guys. They have some boxes in here, but I believe that's just what is set up all around here. So let's keep on moving here. Let's go over and look at the inflatables, because I did notice they have this guy, the eight-foot inflatable light-up Wolfman. He is is pretty dang cool. $49.99, that is not too shabby for that guy. We got the wolf and the secret keeping cat. The wolf was so much smaller than I expected him to be, even though it does say on there that he's only three feet tall. We got Fright in the Box down here, and we got two of these skeletons that I also 
keep contemplating getting. He's only 50 bucks too, and he is pretty cool looking, but I don't know. I'm like back and forth. I want him, but I don't want him. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out later. I really wish that his bones would glow. That would be really cool. I mean, I suppose you could get glow paint and repaint it yourself. That would make that one really, really awesome because then you could turn out the lights and all you would see is the glowing skeleton. Hmm, that is a thought, guys. I just might do that. Anyway, we also have the inflatable coffin here. We got the ghost. We've got this great, I almost called him a greeper. What the heck is wrong with me? We have the greeper here. He's also eight feet tall. The more I look at these, the more I want them, guys. I just wonder, like, since he is green, does he glow in the dark? I don't think so. I think he has a light inside, though. Oh, and with that in mind, that might not work with this guy, because if he has a light inside, I don't think his bones would be able to glow even if you did paint them. Anyways, we have the hearse, and we have two killer clowns inflatables, as well as the haunted tree, the scarecrow archway. Actually, we have two of those and two scary clown archways. Lots of skeletons, creepy crimson girls on swings. We have the bumpy, spooky pumpkin pathway markers. I feel like there should be the bouncing ball under all those so you can say it straight. Bumpy, spooky, sp I can't even say it. Bumpy, spooky pumpkin pathway markers. And that is awesome. These ones are awesome too, though. It would be really cool to mix these up. Have both the bumpy, spooky, the bunky, but I can't even say it. Have both of those and those at the same time. I think I literally just called them bunky spoopy. Don't tell anyone I called them spoopy. We have the ghost face bobblehead, the leather face bobblehead, the gremlin bobblehead, but no Michael Myers bobblehead. And we have this. This is pretty dang cool right here. That lights up too. It needs a new battery because I can't get it to turn on, but that is pretty sweet. We got the vampire door knockers, the devil door knockers, the Sam sidestepper, the Billy Butcherson sidestepper, the Slim sidestepper, the Spiky sidestepper, the Pennywise sidestepper, and the Lydia. Oh, and I can't forget about the Frankenstein. Let's come over here and see what they have in the ghost face department. Yikes, they have loud music in the ghost face department. But they also have the purple and the blue mask as well as the viper face look guys over here we have the whole post of hanging ghouls look at this guys the more i see this guy hello the more i see this guy i like him better look he's wearing an entire clown suit so you could actually get like a dummy and give him a full body and i haven't seen any in here but they do sell full dummies in here you might actually have to get a mannequin though for this guy or use like pvc pipe or pool noodles or something like that to fill him out get some shoes isn't that right sir yikers somebody needs the aqua fresh you know what this ghost face also you could get like a pole or a piece of pvc pipe and build like a frame where he's just sticking up out of the ground enough where when the wind blows his gown would be blowing. That would be so super spooky. Wait, I see a bucket. Let's put it down here and we'll give it some stickers. Look at these guys with bad breath. I'm just going to rename this pole the Pole of Stink. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look, they have the sloppy. I called him Sloppy. Slappy. They have the Slappy Puppet Mask. Why is everything in here a tongue twister today? This guy is an older mask. I think he's from 2018. And look, they also have the whole outfit. I love Goosebumps, especially Sloppy. I love the inflatable costume, guys. Do you think I would fit in there? Or am I too large and in charge? This vintage bunny mask cracks me up. Look how nice and sweet he is. Until you get too close and he turns into a killer. Oh, look, we also have the zombie baby head on a stick. Oh, here's the knife headband like Elliot's brother Michael had on uh, E.T. What the heck? It's like... A weird rubber. I did not expect it to feel like that. Eat, 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 eat. Felt emo might delete. So guys, these vampire fangs look totally cheesy as they are, but you can take those tiny little pumpkins, carve a little hole and stick those in their mouth and make it a vampire pumpkin. In fact, we're gonna get a couple of these and do that. That will be on my other channel. 
that Nate guy on Halloween, go over there and subscribe right now. Oh, you could get one of these and be that Nate guy on YouTube for Halloween. Man, I love these pajamas, but why don't they have a super size 5X for the guy who's large and in charge? Guys, this is a smaller store, but they have all the bouncy pillows. They have a ton of the fleece blankets. They have all this stuff over here, all this stuff over here, all this stuff over here, and all this stuff over here. They are actually pretty dang well stocked for a small store. Hello, Octobones. Hello, fish to bones. Oh look guys, they actually have Shorty's Club. This is one that I haven't seen much in stores this year, if at all. And they have the hand puppets, and they have the acid pie, and they have the slim wall plaque. All right guys, that is it. Where in the heck are we even? I don't even remember. Somewhere in Louisiana. <laughs> um, not Brobridge, Baton Rouge, that's what it is. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Awesome spirit Halloween right back there, guys. That was a fun time in there. And I believe that was store number 69, if I'm not mistaken.